there's quite a bit of controversy about what occurred on the, on that particular Everest expedition or series of expeditions. Could you explain to us what the nature of the, the controversy is? You need to understand uh, everybody who survived in this situation, event of Everest, and everybody has different view and different story. Nobody know all story, and just everybody just what uh, what is happening exactly. But uh, any case, uh, this is controversial. I think approximately because I am from uh, Russian school, high altitude mountain school. School. I have different view for mountain for high altitude from my experience. Also, uh, this is a new kind of business new kind uh, guiding business to Everest. But what I feel about this guiding business, it is uh, people who guided Everest, it is people are guides to unknown. They will be right, because it is unknown place. It is uh, very, in, very difficult to understand what will be happening. You will see, and from my experience, I can say it, I know lots of people who died in high altitude and who was much stronger somebody, but uh, weak people survived it sometime, high altitude and disaster. Strong people didn't survive. How possible explain this? How possible to understand this unknown place from small experience? And also, I respected very much John Krakow, who survived this disaster for his who was uh, actually very strong for this situation, but to understand to him what is happening, it is very difficult from his experience. First time he come to high altitude, and maybe never he will repeat again, but I cannot say it, I know everything. I don't know uh, everything. I try to understand from my experience, I try to, try to understand what is mean guide uh, gu guiding to Everest. It is impossible to ha like I saw the cinema and uh, I was very wonder like exactly rules about turn around time two o'clock. Actually, for me first time and with Scott Fisher we didn't have this situation exactly. We know we need. Sometime decide when you can to do this and when you cannot, but it is very difficult. Do you think that uh, commercial guiding on 8,000 meter peaks has gone too far? It is beginning new kind of business. Rob Hall just began, and he gets success. But if you get terrible time like storm or blizzard, but any case, I can explain. I climbed for time Everest, and I saw much stronger wind than Everest, and much stronger storm. It is not impossible to say that this is unusual storm. Impossible, uh, because sometimes began strong wind, and sometimes just I couldn't walk. I just crawl because it is lots of wind. This is, it was very strong, wind, but possible to walk. But also, if begin a uh, storm, higher than 8,500 meters, this is very strong wind, and you, if you will be unlucky, and you get this terrible weather, this storm can kill everybody. It is, doesn't matter you use oxygen or without oxygen, or you experience or without experience, just begin this time, and you need to be ready. This is like dangerous time. But after 95 also, I guided uh, some expedition from 95, from north side, and we get lots of success. 65 people reach summit of Everest. In people, like mostly, uh, mostly now what uh, I saw, mostly rich people from United States go to and have lots of ambition, pay big money, and get summit of Everest. And, but it is big deception. You need to pay not only money, you need to be ready for difficult situation. And nobody can help, nobody can carry somebody higher 8,500 meters. And people need to understand about this, how guide can help for somebody who will collapse, I will be one, wonder if somebody can. 
And this is another question. And people need to just understand who go to arrest. And people need to realize about this. It's very dangerous time and no guarantee. People will be not lucky. People go to die. Aside from your commercial guiding, in your private climbing, you've done a tremendous amount of winter mountaineering above 8,000 meters. Why do you prefer or why do you enjoy climbing uh, in the wintertime at altitude? Yes, it is difficult. It is very hard and maybe it is most uh, difficult kind of sport, but you need to try to understand this and you need to try to enjoy with this. But uh, I didn't find somebody enjoy with bad weather, with difficulties, with uh, beautiful high um, altitude mountains. And nobody, just people get terrible time and dangerous, difficult, terrible. And you cannot find uh, answer why people go to this challenge. And I spoke just one week ago with some famous climbers from Britain, and people said every time we go to high altitude, and yes, it was very hard, very difficult, high altitude sickness or some problems, you cannot eat, you cannot sleep, but we enjoy with this. But it is another question, to be ready to enjoy with these difficulties, you need to make training, you need to like this. If people don't like it, people have just ambitions climbing, whereas this is a problem. Has the expedition to Everest or some of the other tragedies that you've seen, some of the friends you've lost, changed your view of high-altitude mountaineering? I think this is uh, impossible to explain how it is dangerous. I can say it is the most dangerous challenge, high-altitude, because just one this uh, spring season we done together with my friend maybe most difficult job we guided we uh, work like uh, we work like coaches like uh, consultants and climbing leaders for Indonesian national military expedition and we done most difficult job what is possible to do but uh, what uh, what is case we we climb together with Indonesian members and we get this job like members of rescue team who climb together who is ready to help and when we get terrible time we just help people to survive this terrible time and people survive it together with our experience and uh, but I was honest when people invited me and I was in Jakarta I spoke with general who organized this expedition actually this family of president indonesia organized and i was said it is no guarantee about your soldiers and uh, people need to be ready understand this is very difficult people didn't see snow people don't know about um, isaac people didn't see snow people just from jungle from war with papua people come to Everest. But for me, it is people invited me, people hire my experience, people pay me for my experience, and for me, no questions. I took this dangerous job, and uh, I survived it together with my friends, and we did, we done this, And but what I can say is this, and when people invited me, I said, you can die. With this experience, exactly, lots of uh, possibility, maybe 30% you can die. Maybe thirty percent you can climb Everest. In any case, and people used our experience, people done this, and for me, people say, "How Anatoly? How you feel? You you work for some killers who killed lots of Papua people?" I say, "Okay, for me, I am not killer. I don't like war, but I like if soldiers uh, will climb Everest and not." Fight it, fighting with people. It is also for this older, doesn't matter. Anatoly, thank you very much for talking with us. Okay, you're welcome.